Okay, I'm Alex from PHP Academy and this is a video tutorial created for the new Boston. Uh, this video tutorial is going to be on PHP Echo. Now, Echo is a language construct within PHP that allows us to output uh, data or string data, if you like, uh, to the user's browser. Now, you can see at the moment I've got a file open in my uh, text editor. This is uh, index.php. So we've used our .php uh, file extension and we've set up our PHP tags that are going to let us uh, enter our um, commands, if you like, within them. Um, and in this video, we're going to be focusing on the Echo tutor uh, Echo language construct. So um, I've got the uh, page open in my browser, or nearly the page open in my browser. Um, so now I'm uh, viewing index.php. You can see at the moment, obviously, there are there's nothing uh, there's nothing on the page because we haven't started uh, writing now echo is like I said a language construct it's not a function um, it allows you to basically uh, output to the screen uh, into the browser so how do we write this well it's simply just echo we can either use double quotation marks or we can use single quotation marks and you'll learn about later on why you should use them and when you should use them uh, basically um, Double quotation marks allow you to uh, echo out variables inside them. If you've programmed before, you'll know what variables are. Um, however, single quotation marks will only let you echo variables if you append them, and we append with a full stop. But obviously, this tutorial is on uh, echo, uh, so we're not going to go too much into detail. Uh, remember your line terminate at the end. You need a semicolon at the end of your line, uh, otherwise, we're going to run into any, uh, some errors. In fact, what we'll do is we'll show that without that so we can see what the error is like in the browser. So I just want to say, hello world. Um, if I refresh this uh, in my browser, you're going to see that we're going to, uh, well, actually, we haven't got an error. And the reason for this is that we don't have any other lines in the program. But uh, let's, for example, uh, create a new, um, a new line here um, and just say, let's just say, hello, oh, hello again. And let's refresh, um, and you can see that we've got a pass error. Now it says we're expecting either a comma or a semicolon on the end of line three. Um, so line three is here. The reason for this is it's expecting it just before this E. Um, so just before this E is in fact the end of this line. We add our semicolon in, um, and we're working again. So this is basically how to output data to the screen. Let's just refresh. You can see hello world there. Again, like I said before, if you do use double quotation marks, uh, this is absolutely fine. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. It will produce exactly the same output. So within these tags, what uh, within these um, these quotation marks, what can we actually do? Now we can also echo out HTML um, to the page because as we echo out, it's rendered as um, as uh, you would find an HTML page. If we put things like uh, strong tags for example around this you can see that when we refresh it's taken that into account and we've made this text now bold um, you can also you could potentially create a whole HTML document inside an echo um, inside a language construct echo language construct inside these um, um, speech marks if you like However, we tend not to do this. We tend to uh, just echo out what we need. Um, I mean, things like strong tags uh, for bold, uh, italics underlined, uh, sometimes even form data is okay. But later on in the series, you'll you'll learn that you know there are other ways to handle this. But for now, that's basically how you would output data to your browser.